Hi, everybody. Welcome to this live stream from Clashine in rural Ireland. My name is Nicola Brown, and I'm a textile artist developing a sustainable practice. And if you've arrived here to join me for this Q&A session about my upcoming eco printing challenge, I'm challenging people to upcycle garments from their own wardrobe or thrift store finds into the most beautiful eco printed pieces. And I will be there to guide and help you along the way. So I know that uh, some of you who are joining have already registered for the challenge. That's absolutely wonderful. And I see here that Sabina has. Um, I have already approved many people to our private Facebook group, and I'm really, really excited about that. But I can't uh, be in two places at the one time. So Shauna and I will both check later on, and we will be approving new challenge members into the group. And it's so exciting to hear from people who have already jumped on board to participate and learn over the period of our time together. Because people choose to learn new techniques or refine old ones for many different reasons. So if you are one of the people who is already on board with me, uh, do please make sure that um, you share a little bit about yourself if you would like to in the optional Facebook group. There is no obligation to use Facebook for the challenge, but if you do, you will get a lot out of it because you can interact with the other participants as well as me and Shauna. <clears throat> now this evening, Shauna is actually flying to Belfast, I believe, from, uh, from Amsterdam. So I'm manning the questions that will come in via the comments by myself. So I'm here really to help you. Um, uh, I'll go back over some of the previous content. I'm not here to answer eco printing questions. I'm here to answer questions to help you make a decision if you would like to join me and everybody else and uh, have fun during the challenge and learn loads. So if you do have a question about the challenge or how it's going to be delivered, when you ask it as a comment in the chat, please could you put three question marks in front and three behind. And I would appreciate if today you only ask questions about the actual challenge, because all the boot camp content, the free content that I shared earlier in the week, all of that is available on YouTube. And there are some questions that have been coming in that I'm going to go over tomorrow morning and I hope to answer them tomorrow evening. But there are equally, there are questions that come in that are more advanced eco printing questions and they're for people who work with traditional powdered mordants. So <clears throat> I'm all about working in the most environmentally mindful and health conscious way wherever possible, whenever possible. And that's what I will be sharing with all of you. So if you enjoy nature, if you like the outdoors, if you enjoy upcycling, if you're a textile artist, or maybe you might be um, a whole homeschooler, you might be a grandmother, you could be going to college and interested in fashion and design. And you're well aware of all the um, pollution that, that there is in much of the traditional textile industry. You might be coming to the challenge from all different points, but our big aim for everybody is to strip things back to the basics, that's my aim, and help you achieve beautiful eco prints. Now, all the information that I'm going to share during the challenge and during our time together, that's equally appropriate whether you are interested in upcycling garments or maybe you want to, to print your own handmade felt or maybe scarves that you buy that are just a length of fabric or maybe you want to eco print fabric for, um, for sewing. Everything that I share during the challenge, all the step-by-step -step videos and the examples of me making pieces. I have one example of me working with a flat piece of silk, but everything else is focusing on 
garments and eco printing on linen, on cotton, on wool, on silk, not just working uh, on protein fabric, on cellulose fabric as well. So, um, you know, there are many reasons for people um, joining and deciding to jump on board with me. And if you have watched the um, the boot camp, you may realize that I'm very enthusiastic about what I do. And I'd like to just share a few um, photos from the boot camp, just so you can see. Um, here's one garment, for example. Um, this is just a pink uh, jumper. It's a silk cashmere and wool jumper or you may say sweater that I bought in a thrift store um, just about a week and a half ago and this um, particular jumper it actually um, was quite a strong stronger pink, pink color than it looks there now but I just transformed that by using onion skins and I'm absolutely delighted with the result because I will wear it now um, as it is looking looking like that I will wear that jumper now and then here's another um, image. Um, I'm actually sitting on a piece of felt and I've got a bag there behind me. But my arm warmers and the cowl, those actually were um, a lamb's wool jumper. And somebody had made that shrink in their washing machine, I would say, or they did a hand wash that was too hot. And <laughs> that piece um, now has been transformed into three separate um, items, um, a cowl, arm warmers and also a neck piece so if you have garments in your own wardrobe it's really fantastic it, it gives me a really good feeling to be able to prevent garments going to landfill whether they're ones I find in a thrift store that have seen better days or from my own wardrobe but it's really great to have an economical way as well of looking really different nobody else is ever going to have it the same as you do and um, you might be asking yourself, what happens if you live in a different time zone? Will you be able to fully participate? And I would say absolutely. Regardless of where you live, it's going to be possible to participate in the challenge at a time and pace to suit yourself. And so a, a good reason um, for joining the challenge you know top three reasons everybody has different reasons but if you would like to follow simple step-by-step -step video tutorials and if you follow the vegetation that i recommend i would 99 percent say i can guarantee that you will have successful results even if you are a total beginner because there is so much information available on the internet, on the World Wide Web. And it's very difficult sometimes, especially as a beginner, um, or somebody who's used to working with chemicals to fix the color with traditional powder mordants, it's very difficult to know what works and what doesn't. So I will be giving you this roadmap. I'll be giving you PDF files of vegetation that are going to work for you. Regardless of where you live in the world, there will be something you will have access to. And the whole idea about the challenge is to give you a really, really good foundation that you can build on for the future. And you will have my guidance, my support, you can choose to join the Facebook group and upload images of your work, and then I can give you feedback. And if you're happy with what you've done, we will all celebrate. But if you um, are not happy, which happens everybody at times, me included, uh, I'm going to just be able to share with you how to um, overprint and how to uh, just go ahead and transform the piece that you weren't happy with before. And Another really fantastic aspect for me as the facilitator, and I hope for anybody who has ever joined any of my online workshops or the membership club, it's that you will make friends with like-minded people. You'll meet your tribe. People who participate in these sort of events, they may come from diverse backgrounds, but everybody is interested in working with natural plant material, we all love wool, we love silk, we love linen, we love cotton, we like natural fabric. And um, we tend to have um, 
a similar outlook on life. Many of us are gardeners. We enjoy cooking. We like nice wine if we drink. Um, but the thing is, you're going to meet your tribe of people and make friends. And that's really fantastic. Um, and I'll just share a few images that were in the boot camp. This is just me doing a step-by-step -step, um, little piece here. This is, is a sample. It's a sample, a felt sample. And I'm just going to flick through these images. Now, these here are obviously just photographs. This is one of my pots. Um, it's the pot I use the most often. You'll get plenty of information about what you need. And here I am eco printing. And here are the finished pieces. So those are just images. Imagine if you have access to the full step-by-step -step process for several different garments, for flat piece, for setting up the dirty pot, for making your rust water. You're going to have access to all of these as well as um, files to download. And when you see things such as that photo of me with my pot, let me just see here now, you might be asking yourself, oh gosh, what do I need to, to have ready in advance of the challenge? Because if you're new to eco printing, you, you really may not know exactly what you need. And the simple answer is you need nothing. There's no supply list or anything. The challenge, the challenge is going to be, um, I'm going to break everything down. So I'm going to share everything with you from Monday, from the day the challenge starts, which is Monday. You will have access to new information every day for eight days running. I'm going to give a little welcome video in the morning, which I will live stream. But the whole, vid the whole challenge is not done via live streaming. It's done via professionally recorded videos of me working and showing you perfect, well, not perfect work, but perfect step-by-step -step processes, if that makes sense. You'll see the bigger picture with me working on my table. And then Eduardo, who helped me with the videos, he's brilliant at honing in on my hands. So even if English isn't your first language, you are going to see, um, you're going to see exactly how I'm doing it. So if, if English isn't your first language, you're not going to have a problem with that either. And um, if you have limited time, this is great, because the whole idea about this is just to break it down into manageable chunks. The one day that if you were to do all your eco printing in one day, the actual rolling up of the pieces and printing, that would be your longest session. But that can also be broken up into one, into two or three different stages. So I will give you that roadmap. So even if you have very little time, you will be able to participate. And then if you have very limited supplies, you will be able to participate. And I see here that um, we do have a question. And um, while I really don't want to get bogged down in questions about these sort of things now, Sabina, if you're in the um, in already in the, the challenge, but that particular pot, that big pot was a 40 liter pot. So it was a commercial cooking pot that would have that would be used to cook vegetables or something in a restaurant. It's not huge, but that pot is 40 liters for your reference. So I'll just flick through a few more of these. And then if you do have a question, um, let me just see one second. So if you have a question about whether the challenge is for you, please drop it as a comment. Just type it in as a comment and I will pick it up in the chat. I am by myself today, so I don't have Shauna with me. So it's not so easy for me to see the chat. So that's why I want to keep things really tight today. But if you have a question about whether it's for you, just drop it in the um, chat now. So yes, if you live in a different time zone, you will be able to participate fully. The challenge starts, and I have a mistake with my date there. The challenge is starting on Monday, but Monday is the is Monday the 17th or the 18th. Um, my brain is a little bit tired now. Monday is the 17th. So 
for eight days running, I will have a welcome message for you in the morning Irish time. And then you will have access to all the information that is on that day. Now, I'm going to put a calendar together tomorrow and it's going to be available in your library. So you know what you can expect as the challenge goes on. But I won't be answering any questions about supplies, materials, etc. until the challenge starts, because that's what the whole event is about. It's about working through that. And then when the eight days are up, we're going to have a graduation party. And that will be a live Zoom event, maybe two events so that one could be early in the morning and one could be um, later in the evening so that I will have the opportunity to chat to you all. You can see each other, you can talk to each other and uh, we'll have a virtual party and hopefully some of you will wear your eco printed uh, pieces or some of them. And then you have access to all the information for a further five weeks up until the last Monday in November. So what this actually means is if you're on the road, but you'd really like my help and me over your shoulder and help guiding you and access to all these step by step videos, the tutorials, the downloadable PDFs, you will have that for a full six weeks from Monday. So please do not stress if you're going to be away on holiday for a week, for example, or you're missing a few days next week. If you would like to participate in the challenge, it's a really good opportunity. Well, I think it is to work with me uh, in a less expensive way than joining one of my previous $200 online workshops. Or if you came to me here in Ireland, um, you know, I would be charging you, you know, anywhere between 100 and 120 um, for a workshop where you would print one scarf. Whereas with this, you have access to a lot more information and my help and feedback and six weeks access to the library content. So I see a few comments are coming in or questions. Um, yeah. OK, so. Um, <laughs> the video contents that I'm releasing. So um, Marion, if that's how we, I'm just going to assume that your name is Marion. So I'm going to be, be get, I, I haven't got it quite finished yet, but I'm putting a calendar together. So either tomorrow or the next day, if you're already a member of the challenge, it will be available in your library and you will see what we are doing each day. But when it comes to the eco printing videos, I have got many, many videos of me eco printing different pieces and they're broken down into different sections. So uh, uh, there will be one day when I release all those videos, but that does not mean that I'm expecting you to eco print for only one day. That means that you have access to all this content. I'm expecting people to eco print multiple times. Um, but there will be one big block of content for you to work through. So that's what that means. And um, yes, if you're able to attend the last three days, you see, there's no obligation to it to follow along on the actual day I release the content. So you will have six full weeks for all the content. So if you're away for three days next week, you still have five and a half weeks after that, six weeks in total to access the content and access to the Facebook group and upload your images. You'll get feedback from me, et cetera, et cetera. And um, oh, here Elizabeth is saying, that's very funny. <laughs> Hi from snowy Minnesota. There are 19 of us enjoying this generous video and only two or three likes. I think Nicola needs more than that, more likes. Thanks very much. So if you've enjoyed the boot camp and you're enjoying the video, give me a like. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. Um, here's a question. Is it better to use only light colored felt pieces? And that is an interesting question because if you work with commercially dyed wool, the eco printing process is where we're going to be using a boiling pot and um, 
if you were using, let's say, a bright turquoise fiber, it may lose a little bit of its color in the pot, but you can get beautiful prints onto lighter colored felt. But it doesn't have to be natural, undyed felt. But if it was a really dark brown, for example, or a very dark green, there would be really no point in printing on top of it. You want to be able to see the prints, but you can print on any sort of felt. Um, <laughs> thanks for the uh, thanks for the heart, Esther. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, so I'm just going to add this to the screen screen again. So the teaching platform that I use is called Kajabi, and I'm going to be starting each day with a short video welcome that will be streamed into the Facebook group, and then I will upload that video to your library. So if you happen to live in New Zealand for example, and you don't want to be up at the time I am doing my live stream in the morning, my welcome, and letting you know what information is available that day. And that live stream is only a couple of minutes. It's nothing like this. The whole concept about this challenge is that I'm breaking it down so it's manageable for everybody, but you will get great results. Then you just... Um, the, the content for the day will be released and, and depending on which day that is, it will be, um, there will be information, there will be writing, there may be a video or a series of videos, and there may be a checklist of items for you to gather or collect or have prepared by the time you're ready to eco print. So, you know, on one day we'll be discussing the, the clothes, for example, and different styles of clothes or or what to look out for. That would be one sort of section. Then another day will be, you know, rust water, setting up the dirty pot, which vegetation. And then it will just flow, flow. One day will flow into the other. And then the Facebook group is a really great place. Um, I've learned from all my experience facilitating online workshops and also um, the membership club, which I'm really enjoying um, with the, the people who are members, you make friends. If you live somewhere and you, you see, um, maybe you'll see somebody else's photo and you really like the cooking setup that they're using and you wonder where they got their, their um, gas burner from, ask the question. People are very kind. They share information all the time. So it's not just me who will actually share information. We will have a really nice community spirit, but it will be me doing the teaching aspect. And I will be the person who is um, helping you as well and giving you the feedback. But there are quite a number of experienced people who are in the EcoPrint and Wet Felt Club. And they also um, will be happy, um, I'm sure, to help if anybody really needs some extra help. But I'm there and Shona is there. So if you don't want to use Facebook, you can also um, absolutely you can can join because every bit of learning content is going to be available in the library on Kajabi. And I am going to um, share that library um, with you in a second. I'm, I'm just going to share the, the page of it just to, to show you. Um, what it looks like, the beginning of it. I just, somebody is asking me a question and I'm just wondering, I can't, uh, excuse me one second, because um, here is a question, where can you enroll in the challenge and can you pay by bank wire? So the link to enroll in the challenge is at the top of the chat and it's in this video description, but I, I cannot copy and paste that in now. But if you want to pay with the bank wire, it is much easier for me if you register with using the link. And with the link, you can use PayPal. You can use your credit card via Stripe. You don't have to use PayPal. So you can use your credit card by using Stripe or a debit card. And you can use PayPal. If you absolutely need to do a bank transfer, it's really not easy for me. But I'm going to put my personal email address here. Actually, I'm going to put my business one. Just in case I get a few queer things. So, okay. So 
just make a note of my email address there. And if you really, really want to have a discussion about paying by a wire transfer, but honestly, it's not an easy option for me, but if you want to, we can talk about it. So there's uh, my email there. Okay, so I'm going to um, just show you that if you have registered for the library, once you um, register, and um, please do not forget your password. And if you've already um, bought something um, or been registered with Kajabi before, maybe even with a different online tutor, you may get asked to put a password in. So um, if you have any problems with that, let me know. But once you actually have joined and when you log into your library, this would be what the opening page would look like. Now, this is a screenshot taken on my um, Mac. But if you were on a, an iPad, it, it may not look as wide as that, but that's, you know, it might look a little bit taller and narrower, but this is what the welcome page looks like on the Mac. And so you can see there's just the name of the challenge and then on the right hand side, members only group. And um, you, if you click that, you will link through and you can request to join the Facebook group. And it's important to remember we live in different time zones. So um, Shauna at the moment is traveling. I'm in Ireland. If you request to join the Facebook group, I mean, we have let people in for many hours today. But if you join, if you request and it's the middle of the night or we don't get to it for, you know, for a few hours, we are sleeping probably. So you've got to just be patient with us while we get you in. And um, for the person who can't see my email address on the phone, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. But if as soon as this video is over, the link to join is in the video description. So if you visit the video, um, I can see that you're looking on Facebook. So if you're on either of my Facebook pages, you will be able to see the link on the Facebook page to register and you can send me a private message if you have problems. So that's the opening, um, that's the first page. So then if you remember, right now, there's only a little welcome section. And the reason for that is I am uploading all the information, but it's going to be drip fed day by day, there's more information. But if you look at the screen, the left-hand side of the screen, if you clicked that button there um, with the little arrow beside it, um, this would be what would happen next. So then you come and we're now into this welcome section. Now, later on, the index of all the content is going to be on. Let me just make that a bit smaller. The index is going to be on the left side under that blue block. And that will have the titles of all the different videos or the content that is there. And then once you hit one of those things, it'll open up and then you get these little icons like images. So there'll be images with information. So if we just clicked on that one there now, bear in mind, this is a screenshot, then it opens up into what is within the content there, the content there. So it's just a welcome from me uh, text. And then there's a link further down, which I'm not showing, but the library is actually quite simple to use, but it might take you a day or two to, um, to get used to it. So we're going to be taking our time and then we're going to uh, have amazing, amazing results. Okay, so let's just see here now. Uh, I'm going to go through the next one here. So many people are anxious, it's a different season. They think they mightn't have fresh leaves or vegetation. It's no problem at all. I highly, highly recommend that you stick to limited vegetation and follow my recommendations at the beginning during the challenge. And then after you've done your first pieces during the, the next five weeks, experiment if you want with some other vegetation of your own. But if you want to get good results and the results like I achieve, you've got to do what I do. And we'll just have a look at a few more photos. So just so you can see the sort of thing. So that's um, lamb's wool jumper. And actually, the, um, the piece around my neck 
the cowl part that is eco printed with eucalyptus leaves but we're i do one piece in the challenge with eucalyptus leaves but there's no need to have eucalyptus leaves the arm the wrist warmers there the arm warmers are printed using onion skins and and actually oti seeds and anato seeds um this here is printed with onion skins the piece around my neck is onion skins and the pieces on my arms are onion skins and that piece there those are leaves um those leaves are cornus alba siberica or dogwood but i'll be giving you lists of leaves that you can try once you've mastered the basics and the challenge costs 49 us dollars and personally <laughs> because I will be giving you a lot of my time. I mean, for those eight days, I will be focused entirely on you guys. Um, plus, you'll be having feedback from me after the eight days are over. But the eight days are the really big time when I will be looking and giving you feedback as much as you need and helping ensure that you all have really successful results. As I say, if you came here for a workshop for one day and it would be from 10 until 4, it would be between 100 or, and 120, depending on what fabric you were working on. So registration closes uh, and it is Sunday the 16th, not Sunday the 17th. I made a mistake with the date, so I'm very sorry about that. So registration closes on Sunday the 17th at one minute to midnight. But that is midnight in Ireland. That is not midnight wherever you live if you're in a different time zone. So please, please do not leave it too late because things get automated uh, within the library and within, you know, everything. When you pay, for example, it goes into a sort of a chain of events that happen. Like I can't be there at my computer every single minute. So there's a chain of things that happen. So once the time arrives, the club will be closed. And um, yeah. So anyway, um, the deadline for having the registration go through is one minute to midnight Irish time, which is BST. That's GMT plus one, which I'm going to put in the chats. GMT, which is general mean time plus one, Greenwich mean time. Um, so that's your deadline. So I just like to throw it out there. If any of you have any questions that I can help you with now about the challenge, please put them in the comments. Um, I hope, you know, I want to help you make the decision. I would never like to think anybody was forced into joining me, but I honestly think if you'd like me looking over your shoulder, virtually and really helping you achieve the results that you might be just dreaming of if you've had a bad experience etc etc um i think that you know it's a great a great opportunity and here's mary and mary is one of my founding members of the eco print and wet felt club and thank you so much mary for jumping in here and Mary says she's looking forward to learning more on Monday. And Mary has loads of experience, but that doesn't stop her wanting to learn more. It doesn't stop me wanting to learn more. I learn from my club members too. And it's just really good fun to bounce ideas off each other and get to know each other better. So thank you so much, Mary, for saying that. And I know you're not the only uh, club member who, is who has already registered. So it's going to be a really nice and welcoming warm group of people okay so that that ends tonight thank you very very much um, i will be back tomorrow night because there may well be more people who have questions um, and hopefully each night will be briefer and briefer as i answer them for you so thanks a million for your attention and over and out from clashin in ireland i really hope to see some of you all of you many of you in the challenge and see the beautiful pieces you create. Good night.